So you found that thing in the first dungeon? What exactly does it do? Uh, it unlocks the wearer's true potential, and it also makes their eyes red. Hold on, before we use this, I must ask perhaps a stupid question. Why did you all decide to put Sting's body in this item shop? Well, Mr. Fister insisted that we bury him someplace he'd be happy. And I've personally never known Sting to be happier than all the time he spent swearing at the little merchant girl because she wouldn't sell him things. Does the owner know that you stored his body in here? Oh, absolutely not. Also, we have about five minutes until she returns from our hourly lunch break. You memorized her schedule. I won't go that far, but I did do a good bit of reconnaissance, yeah? Mr. Fister, that's called Stalking! Let's just hurry up and wake Sting from his coma. Alright, clear this up for me. Is he dead or is he in a coma? Dead. Oh, coma. Good lord. Well, if he wasn't before, he's dead now because you buried him in the floorboard of an item shop. You know, Alphonse, I put a lot of effort picking out a nice resting place for Sting, and you're being really ungrateful right now. Alright, I regret asking. Continue craft. Let the ritual commence! Hiya, 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 hmm, hmm, hmm. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God and a giant dragon to join this man and this woman together in the most blessed sacrament of holy matrimony. Let us begin with the vows that the couple has written for each other, starting with the groom. Ahem. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it's only been a short time since I was isekai'd into this world with nothing but my name. And honestly, I like the words to neatly summarize the past year that I've been here. Maybe that's a good thing. Life shouldn't be so easy to squeeze inside a frame. In the many lives I've lived, however, I can easily say that never have I been as happy as I have in the past year that I've spent with you. There can only be one reason for that, and that is love. Aristotle once said... Aristotle once... Sorry guys, I, I thought I heard something. <laughs> anyway, Aristotle once said that love was one soul and two bodies, and every man and woman was one half of a whole, spending their lives wandering in search for the second part of their soul. Wake up, Well, I spent three or four lives, depending on how you count it, looking for my other half. And today, I think it's safe to say that I found it. Okay, can anyone else hear that? I cannot be the only one. Babe. Do you hear voices telling me to wake up? Nope. Hey, Mr. Fister, try giving him a body slam. Maybe that'll help. Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, I'll do my new move. Shoot Star Priest! Ah! Oh, I broke my neck! Huzzah! Sing's alive! Welcome back, Steve! Hallelujah! Uh, um, yay. What's going on? This isn't my beautiful house. You're not my beautiful wife. How did I get here? You're safe now, Sting. All thanks to Kraft. He found a magic ring that brought you back from the dead. And it made your eyes red. <laughs> it almost looks like you're angry now. Sting, Sting, I have to know. What was it like to be dead? It was wonderful. Send me back right, right the right fuck now. now. That's the old Sting we all know and love. No, you don't understand. I spent an entire year in another world. I was living my best life over there. I had a house. I owned a farm. I saved a dragon. People liked me. I was a hero. I fell in love. I almost had sex once. Sting, you didn't die. Ostensibly. And you've only been out for two weeks. Two weeks? And what a couple of weeks it's been. A lot has happened since your coma. Yep. Turns out Lolf is my long lost brother. I wasn't lost. You were. I shall now be known as the Prince Fister of Armor Road. Please don't bring that up. This is supposed to be a happy occasion. Yeah, now that Sting's alive, everything is back to normal. Same as it ever was. 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 You may ask yourself, what is that beautiful house? You may ask yourself. 